There are 11 tutorials related to this, and in this course you are going to learn the set method of jQuery. By set method, we mean that we want to set a value inside the elements of our DAO in HTML. We want to set HTML, we want to set text. For this, we have four different methods here. In the first method, if we want to change it inside it, then we will use this method called text. If we want to change the HTML itself, then we will use this method called HTML. If we want to change any attribute, meaning that we want to change the border etc. inside the table tag like class, then we will use the method called attribute. And lastly, we have here, if there is any value already written inside the form, we want to change it or insert any value inside the form on page load. If you want, we will use this method called VL. So let's see it practically. For this, we will use this method called val. So let's see how we use it practically. See here. Here we have created a basic estimal document, and here we have set a heading. Here we have a do, and inside it there is a subheading, and if a paragraph is created or the text of the paragraph is changed, then for that first I will use its click event of the button, see here. For that I have attached an ID to this button in the HTML of the click button. See here. How will I use it? See here. First I have. Also added the jQuery file below it. First I take the script tag, and inside it I write my basic jQuery starting code, document and ready. Inside it I create the selector of the first click event, see here. For this I will say here first I take dollar, and here inside the round bases I put hash because there is an ID whose click event I take, and here inside the round bases, I make a function here, I have done the function I took money, and put semicolon and last now as soon as there is a trick with the button, then what I want is what is inside this box the test written inside it text box, I want to change it, so see first I will make selector here, and here I will write box space, h2 meaning what I have. To change inside the box where the ID box is placed inside it what is the text. So here there is a method named text, and what I want to set value not value I have to write here. So as I write here IT tech. So see as soon as I click on this click button, then this heading of the text inside the box will change I save the file.
And look here, I didn't click here in the document. Something went wrong here. Look here, I misspelled the, I saved the file again, and here I come. Now look, I clicked. The text of the heading to that is fixed above has changed, if I want to change the text of the paragraph as well. And here in its next line, I take the paragraph inside the box, meaning that if the text of B. Tech changes here, I write new text here, I save the file. Now look, both of these will be set on a single click, C. The heading 2 above will be set, and the paragraph below will also be set. So what method did I use to set it? The method called text. Now I will tell you another method, whose name is. The heading above will also be set, and the paragraph below will also be set. So what method did I use to set it? The method called text. Now I will tell you another method called HTML. For this, I will take the HTML inside the paragraph here, and leave the text here, and just put the CSS tag inside it. Like I put it here, I close the text box. I save the file here. As soon as I click on the button, the new text that is in HTML will be hit here, and the HTML inside the paragraph will be set. See, the heading above will be set, and the HTML below will be set. See, I had written the text box tag, so it has also made this test bold here. But if I put the HTML text in it, see what happens. It will also print it as it is. See, I put bold in front of. We saved the file again, so we clicked again and saw this. If you have printed it, you are seeing that the text is only used for tax, not for tax. If you want to add a deck, then for that you will use our method called HTML. Now I will show you how to use our third method, which is called attribute. I want that as soon as I click on this button, a class should be added here. Look above. There is no class attached here yet. So I want a class to be attached to it called XYZ. I have already created a class called XYZ above. Inside it, the color is set here purple. Look here. I went here and copied the same selector. Look here. Inside the box, what do I want to set for the S2? If it is active ATR. Look here. Inside it, two parameters will come. One is the name of the attribute that I want to set. I want to set the class. And here is the second parameter after a comma, in which I will give its value. See which class I have created a class named XYZ. Look here.
Look here, the class is being applied to the S2, and the text is also being set below. So look, I refresh the file again first. Without clicking look, there is no class applied to the H2, and the text is also being added to the text box. Now as soon as I click on this button, look, the class is also applied here and the new text is also added. So these are our basic three methods that we use. Let's see how we do this side. So look, here I have created the wrong file for it, and look here too. Look, this is our file in which two input text boxes are being applied. By doing name and class, I have taken a label here, and I want that as soon as the page is open. A value is already set here. So look here. Here I have put the pocket file, and look here. Inside the script tag, I have written the basic HTML code, document.ready. Now here I start my own, which I have to set. So see, I have taken separate IDs for both of them. For the name, I have taken S here. The name S means student and for. First I set the value of S name. First of all I will create a selector here, and in the selector I am creating S name, and what I have to set is the value. There is a method called value for this, and the value that has to be set has to be given in the quartz here inside the round bases. So look here I have written the value and set it here. I have added it here. And here I have made the class inside the S class, and inside it like a bat. But here I have saved the file, and look here both the values have been set. These were the values of the forms of the input box. So to set them, you cannot use the methods called htm and text. If you use the method called value here, which is 12, then this form will be created. So you saw how we can use these four methods to set the text HTML attribute and the bell. Thanks watching my video. Subscribe, like and comment.